All right, so this is uh, second video I'm putting together just to show kind of what's going on with uh, the setup for this. So these are 14 gallon totes from HDX. Um, they're a lower profile, as you can see. Uh, found these, they seem to work good. I had to, at the bottom, add pink foam to raise the cells up a little bit. Um, the modules, I guess I should call them, uh, to, because the problem I'm running into with them is that if it's on the bottom, the space inside the tote is smaller, so they do not, they do not fit as well. But in this situation, they fit perfectly, the lid will close, etc. Uh, the problem I ran into, though, with the BMS is, is that they does not work with the BMS being on top, so what I will have to do is feed the BMS into this open void in the middle, I um, have to obviously make sure that I have all the connections well protected and insulated, probably put some additional foam uh, just to keep it separated from everything. Um, and then the I did this little chart to map out the layout between the cells and how it will connect. So basically you have one bank starting with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And it'll connect to the other side of one, and this is, uh, sorry, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, and then this leads, as a result, is here's the balance leads. I really wanted to get away from having to create extensions or anything like that. So if the BMS is in the middle here, basically the leads can get to all of the connections without any seeming issue, which is great, because I wasn't expecting that, actually. Then what will happen, uh, we will feed out the power through the side uh, with some modified cables from jumper cables because I've been using jumper cables as a cheap alternative solution with no problem, with no significant losses, with no heat buildup at all. So we continue to use that, uh, doing four gauge out. The only thing that's weird is that obviously this these BMSs from Dally, they're like seven gauge, but I've never really... You can't really buy 7 gauge, which is kind of strange. If they say they're rated for 100 amp, I'm sure it'll be fine. The jumper cables I know will be fine. Not concerned about that. And then the bigger thing is that there are obviously four modules here, or four batteries here that are going to be built. So we have four BMSs, and they'll be put in parallel to connect to the LV5048 to replace the Bolt EV batteries that are currently there. And that should give us a nice bump in capacity. Uh, it'll also give us a nice bump in charging rate. It basically, it'll max out the ability for that to charge. Granted, it's limited based on the BMS. says 50. They claim peak at 66. So more or less, it's maxing it out. Uh, I don't expect to combine the two of charging from grid and from solar at the same time. So it should be fine. Uh, all the dallies here came with the uh, Bluetooth or the computer connection. So I have that. I'm probably going to stick with the Bluetooth, but I'm also considering wiring these all up to a computer and then being able to have a remote access so I can get to it anywhere. I don't know what option yet, but I'll probably leave this available to plug and unplug inside. So that's my plan. So this would be then um, tilted face this way to allow to get that connection. And then for the feeds, they'll just come out the side going into an Anderson... 175 amp connection for each of them, which will then go to a bus bar uh, next to the inverter. Anyway, that's just a small update. Figured it'd be interesting. These totes fit them perfectly. Once you put in a two inch foam insert at the bottom, it closes, no issue. In fact, I can just go ahead and demonstrate this. So long as I put the BMS in the crevice here, which they all have, it will be fine. So it's closed. I can push down. I don't get to the batteries. I know they're gonna, I'm gonna stack two, so it's gonna be 100 pounds, but I was concerned about the middle bowing, but with the with the extra foam, and now with the fact that the hard points really for the support of the case are on these big pieces here, the middle flex is gonna be minor. So even if I push real hard, I don't even get to the batteries. So I don't think it'll be much of an issue. So anyway, that's all I've got for now. I uh, hope this is helpful. I think this is gonna be a great setup, uh, definitely modular. It's not as compact as some of the Gilly options, I would argue. It's very serviceable though, which the Gilly is not. And at the end of the day, uh, I think it's going to be significantly cheaper uh, once it's all done. The batteries themselves were about 3,200 delivered. Then the BMSs were an additional almost 400 delivered. So we're at 3,600 for approximately 20 kilowatts, 20.1 kilowatts gross here. That's pretty good uh, for domestic. 
and the, these, the BMSs only took a week, and this came from Amazon, which is great. I would have gotten this from Battery Hookup as well, but they didn't have any 16Ss, so I went with the Dally. This seemed like they're fine, especially considering I'm not even get close to pushing anything to its limit, at least not in the near future. But either way, it, that's still 400 amps. That's a crazy amount of power and still at least 200 amps of charging. Again, the solar that we have now, it can't it can't go past even if i were to max it out, i think 120 amps so even if i was combining everything together maybe i could get to 200 amps maybe but it's unlikely anyway uh the form factor should be good uh obviously waterproof effectively unless it were to go above this but uh i think that will be fine and uh yeah i'm considering sealing the holes and things like that i probably will um i might even get a gasket for the bottom one such that when it does sit it does seal it that would prevent water from ingressing no matter what again that would just mean everything could stay online without issues until it got to the inverter which is nearly three feet off the ground so i don't think that's a concern anyway that's all i've got thank you all for watching and if you have any questions let me know bye